unwavering commitment. Acting Chief of Police Joseph Cruz was appointed to the Guam Police Department back in May after then Chief of Police Fred Bordalio retired. Cruz accepted the appointment amid controversy, including an investigation that was launched into a shooting suicide inside the Hagatne precinct, air conditioning problems at the GPD crime lab, and a dilapidated evidentiary control facility, just to name a few. The chief during our latest episode of Cruising with KUAM said he accepted the position because he saw it as an opportunity to really make a difference for the island. Cruz is a Marine Corps and Guam Army National Guard veteran and a former police officer. He has a bachelor's of science degree in criminal justice and a master's of public administration. He is also working on his doctorate in public policy. He expects to complete his degree program in December 2017. If confirmed, he says one of his goals is to enhance and promote relationships with the community. We have programs like the Neighborhood Watch Program, the, the Mission Guardian Angel, and uh, the work that we do with the Highland Beautification Task Force, IBTF, and all those uh, initiatives that are being uh, proposed by the governor, the lieutenant governor of Guam, all deal with relating with the community, collaborating with the community to be able to keep our community safer, uh, getting the community more involved in assisting the Guam Police Department uh, help the community stay safe. Uh, just the other day, I met with some members from the the uh, private sector, uh, there's an organization called the Honorary Deputy Chiefs of Police. And all these gentlemen exist in the private sector and they're all there willing and, and just wanting to reach out to the Guam Police Department to help us out, um, to be able to assist us in what we need to do. So maintaining that collaborative effort between the Guam Police Department and the community, the Guam Police Department and the private sector in, in being able to look at some of what the, the issues that exist out there and help us to be able to deal with that, those issues to keep the island more safer. The chief is scheduled to appear for his oversight hearing on Monday at 2 o'clock in the afternoon at the Guam Legislature.